I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne, and this is Drake. Well, happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> yes. And do you know what Fridays are? Spotlight Friday. Yep. This person we're spotlighting today, I love everyone, but I sure love her. Yeah, she's awesome. I mean, I gave it away. It's a her. Whoops. It is a her. I could have said I sure love them. Yeah. Who is it? But today's individual member Let's is... not say... Let's just do this different, Okay. Don't read who that is. Let's just read all of this, and then, and let then we'll say who it is. Oh, she'll kill us. She will not. No, because she don't know it. That's good. That's true. Okay. Well, this person that we both love is a she, and she has been a CNA for 19 years. And I'm not going to read this next part until we do all this. Yep. Oh, well, well we, we can. Well. Nope. She is a hospice yeah. CNA. Not only is she a hospice CNA, and some of this isn't on here, she is such a CNA advocate. Over the past month, she has been into CNA education centers, different CNA classes, talking to CNAs about the profession, about the association, which is amazing. To see a CNA in the field doing that, some of those things I do. I go to the colleges, I go to the Votex, but I work in the office. So to see her doing that, it was so heartwarming, like... I get this picture and she's in her all white, you know, like, like just so professional going to talk to the CNA class. Mm -hmm. She has a Facebook page. She does. And I visit that Facebook page quite often mm -hmm. and she'll put, um, little messages and stuff up there. And it really makes you feel good when you read them yeah. and they stay with you throughout the rest of the day. But one thing that she's doing, wait, what's her Facebook page called? Oh, it's CNA Community Advocate. Advocate, yeah. CNA Community Advocate, and th that is a Facebook page she has. If you haven't mm -hmm. liked it, please go like it. I, at some point, will share, just share something from that page so you can like it from one of our pages. Yeah, but go there because, I mean, it, it's an amazing page to visit. But one of the things that she's doing, and I know this is kind of special to you too, because you do like memory care, you love Alzheimer's and dementia, yeah. but she collects baby dolls mm -hmm. and she gives them to all the memory um, care communities where she's from. Yep. And she does this apparently every year. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested in helping out by donating um, a baby doll, you can reach out and uh, private message her and get all the information. But and feel free to reach out to us as well, and we can connect you with yeah. her if you don't have her information. This is a big thing, and I don't think there are ever too many baby dolls that can be donated. Think of all the memory care units mm -hmm. in the nation and think of every single resident in those memory care units. All of them could utilize their own baby. So we, we got some more that could still be collected for sure. So don't think, oh, maybe they got it. Maybe they don't. If you're thinking specifications on a baby doll, I'm not sure. That's why we can connect you with, I almost said the name. We can connect you with this person mm -hmm. and they can assist you on what's going to work best for them. But I'm thinking any lifelike babies with some weight to them. Mm -hmm. So for our residents, I mean, it, it does wonders for them. For behaviors, you know, it keeps him so content. Okay, so I'm going to do the drum roll so Brrr. you can pronounce the name. All right, so our spotlight is our individual member, uh -huh. Celeste Billups Woo! from Virginia <laughs> Beach, Virginia. Yes. Celeste, we want to thank you for being such an active member of NACA. Aside from that, like I said, being such an advocate for CNAs. I believe that you were advocating for CNAs long before you stumbled upon the association and you have continued yes. to advocate for CNAs. You advocate for our hospice residents, mm -hmm. our dementia residents, just all around your go-getter. I aspire many, I aspire to do many things that you do. I look up to you. I've told you that. Mm -hmm. I think you're just the best thing since sliced bread, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, we kind of connected last year when I was um, talking about CNAs caring for other CNAs. Mm -hmm. And she had actually stood up and was telling her story when Meg, Le, uh, 
Meg Laporte, Laporte yeah. yes, was telling us, you know, it's your story. You have the right to tell it. And I was listening to her before I went on to speak, and she said she had a battle with cancer. So she, she knew right, you know, the feelings and stuff I was having. So Celeste, um, congratulations. And um, it's a great honor for Drake and I to um, present this um, individual membership spotlight to you. For sure. Keep doing great things. As always, you know, reach out to us if there's anything we can help you with, assist you with. Is there material you need from the association? And that goes for any of our members out there that are advocating or spreading the word. If there's help you need from us, you have to let us know. I try to gauge and see, you know, I see somebody promoting and then I'll reach out to them and say, hey, is it, do you need a trifold or do you need this? But I don't catch everyone. So if you are promoting membership, just a profession, reach out to me, reach out to Karen, anyone in our office, and we can get you some information or even provide you some guidance if needed. Right. So congratulations again. And um, you truly make um, a difference every day in what you're doing, Celeste. So um, remember that you matter.